All right, so what's up? You'll probably see you know, tons of people. You know, we're on the beach walk here behind me, walking past. It was pretty cool. I was just having a conversation with a chiropractor that I know that lives here. And basically, you know, kind of got on the lines of how everything's going with COVID and, you know, all the struggles that we're having. And, you know, I really kind of started talking to him about, you know, my conversation with my dad last week about trying to pay attention to the light at the end of the tunnel. And ultimately, you know, I know all of us out there, you know, business owners, you know, and everybody are so stressed and, you know, struggling to get through this. And, and it's tough. It's been tough since the beginning. You know, there's never been you know, one part of this that's been easy. But, you know, we kind of have, you know, a choice to make on how we look at things here. Like, one, you know, the biggest thing for me, you know, this guy, this chiropractor that I was just talking to has a really big practice. And, you know, he's really stressed out about, you know, the, the money that's going, you know, the money situation, and how much his overhead is and, you know, these these issues that you have when you have a bigger practice, which, you know, ultimately we had in Pittsburgh, you know, and in Cranberry. And one thing that I can say for sure is that, you know, as I decided to step down from being a business owner, you know, I was a really lost puppy there for, you know, a year or so here. And the thing that I can talk about right now is that I can't say enough about the fact that, you know, I love being a business owner and that I'm so happy and privileged to have, you know, the options and the opportunities that come with, you know, being a business owner. And really, at the end of the day, we need to be, you know, remembering you know, that, you know, there, there's not a better alternative, right? We get so many perks and so many benefits of being able to be business owners. And, you know, one of them is having employees. And I don't really have, you know, too many employees right now. But, you know, having employees is, is really an honor. You know, the fact that, you know, people are, you know, kind of putting you, you know, in their, in their charge and under their, you know, you're under, they're under your care, right, really, and under your leadership, you know, that is an absolute privilege. And, you know, we should be honoring that and respecting that and realizing that, you know, there's a lot of people that are trying to stick this thing out and stick together and make it work. And eventually this whole thing's going to get turned around, you know, hopefully with the vaccine and everything that's going on right now, this is going to end. And, you know, really the question becomes right now is what are we doing with the time that we have here between now and then, right? That light at the end of the tunnel, it's there. You got to find it and you got to direct your efforts and your energies towards it. And I know it's tough and I know it's hard, but if you can keep some positive perspective in your mind and try to have some hope and try to visualize that future, you know, in some type of a better way and stay focused on that vision, stay focused on that future for yourself. Because if you can prepare yourself for that day, when it happens, you're gonna be able to capitalize on those opportunities. And those opportunities are gonna be there. It might be three months, six months, a year or two years. The time and how we use it between now and then is gonna make all the difference between how things are right now and how things are then. You know, and, and things may not get better out there, you know, in the world. But in our worlds, we can make things the best for ourselves, you know, and that's the trick. And, you know, I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker on here or anything like that. But, you know, man, I, I just really hope that I can keep, you know, putting out a positive message out there because it's, you know, again, you know, this idea of this information diet, we're just getting bombarded with nonsense and negativity and, and things that, you know, aren't really going to help us in the long run. It's only pushing us to, you know, hurt ourselves and sabotage our, our situations now so we got to control the things that we can right and we can control what we do every day you know at the, at the end of the day you can be going at home and holding your head up high based upon how you use your time right it might not always be the way that the way you want it to be and you know this happens when people get injuries as well right the injuries don't always allow you to do all of the things that you want to do but you have to modify you have to improvise and adapt and overcome like uh, Clint Eastwood said in that movie uh, Heartbreak Ridge one of those awesome movies so with that again we got to improvise adapt and overcome hopefully my dad sees it he'll, he'll, he'll love that little nugget right there and try to stay positive out there people all right thanks a lot thanks for listening bye